Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. I welcome all of you to this course, Fundamentals of Combustion. Uh, a question might be coming to your mind, why combustion is important? Maybe another question will be lurking in your mind, what is combustion? Is it relevant today or it is a very old subject? If you look at, it is an old subject, right? And when really this combustion, you know, as a science and its application started, a lot of question might be coming to mind. How it is relevant to your curriculum or your, uh, you know, these things, whether it is relevant to life or not. So, some of the question might be coming to your mind. Is it really coming? See, if questions are not coming, then you know, then you cannot learn because question can never be a silly, it can be a beautiful lily in the garden of knowledge that is a truth as after age, right. So, therefore, you must, you know, increase the questions to come up in your mind, that is the first step and next step would be to explore it, to get answer for you know these things. So, uh, if you look at combustion is as old as civilization, human civilization. Civilization means human civilization, right? You are aware of how many civilizations were there in this beautiful planet and which are uh, you know very great. Any idea? No, right? Roman civilization. What else? Indus Valley civilization, Mesopotamia civilization, Greek civilization, right? But if you look at all these civilizations today are still alive, they are dead except one civilization. What is that? What is that civilization? Except one civilization, you won't get the signature of the civilization in that country. For example, if I go to Rome, can I get that? about whatever it was happening, let us say 5000 years back or 6000 years back. But there is a one civilization which is having that legacy, those signatures are still alive. What is that? Any idea? Maya. Huh? Maya today. Certainly no. It is only Indian civilization which is still alive, but it is about to die. Due to, due to cultural innovation, right? Are you getting my point? And what was the turning point for the civilization to prosper, human civilization? People were living in jungles, right? What was that? Mm -hmm. huh? Discovery of fire. Discovery of fire. So, therefore, fire is one of the greatest discovery of mankind. And if you look at, if you go to our Vedas, if you go to our scriptures, what he says? What the scriptures say? Agni Deva Bhava. Agni means fire, right? If you take bath in our culture, if a baby will take bath, you know, then what? We will welcome with a lamp, diya, jalake, you know, welcome karte. Jab mar jata hai, admi kya karte? Jala dete, right? we incinerate it and that is why and also in between lot of our rituals are having you know lamp with a lamp always am I right? Yeah. So, that is a because we always remember fire is important for our life. It is a external fire also the internal fire. So, fire is one of the greatest discovery of mankind and you should uh, you know people might have learned how to make a fire set a fire, but 
it is important to also set in a proper control manner. So, control is important. So, if you look at man's subsequent mastery over the fire and you know has culminated into all the developments what we see. If you go to our Vedas, you know there is a Yajnas, the people who are saying that they were, this, these are all not the Yajnas only, they were knowing how to manufacture the material, you know how to process the material, how to manufacture the product, the claim. Why I am saying this thing, you know I had uh, done one course, Ancient Indian Technology. You can see in there in the YouTube as a part of MOOC course. The plethora of knowledge was there in our country, but those are you know all extinct unfortunately. So, that was the genesis is the fire you know has made all the development in science and technology that we enjoy today, right. There is nothing wrong in enjoying the fruits of the science and technology, but we are abusing it, misusing it. As a result, what is happening? Instead of developing, instead of moving on the path of development, what we are doing? We are on the path of destruction. What people are calling it is development, you know, these are not development. So, therefore, also the combustion plays an important role in the sense it is a, should be used for the, you know, boon, not as a bane. But unfortunately, it has been, you know, not being used and we are part of this present days and we are responsible for it. So, most of the modern technology development have emanated basically from the discovery of fire. And as a result, what will happen? We have all materialistically developed, you can say, and we are what you call spoiling the mother earth resources. And there is a segregation of the wealth, right? you might be aware, we should aware about that thing and this is related to the combustion to tangentially, you know little remotely, but you must understand that it is important. As a result that modern civilization is basically built on the combustion of fuels both for the heat and electrical power. What you see today in electricity, you can see these computers, you can see all those things. Is electricity is very important, is not it? So, also like um, for your heating purposes and all process industries and keep in mind that as a result, there is a what you call problems of emission, right, pollutions emissions from the various combustion devices plays a major role for the air pollution. Do you think that it also affects the water pollution? Yes or no? It does, because in power plants and other things you know you will have to also spoil the water. So, water pollution, air pollution and also the soil being polluted and we are all in deep trouble. So, when you talk about that, there is a always you know hampering the development what we are having. We are a which country today? We are a developed country, a developing country or underdeveloped country? We are developing country, right. See at, at the parlance of the terminology used by the western people, right. But is it development? According to me it is destruction, <laughs> okay. Are you getting? But even if we accept that, that means if you want to develop, we will have to use more energy, that is the thumb rule, but that is not the case, that is the what you know they are talking about it. Then we will do that, that means we will use more fuel, more you know emissions we will be making. We will make that, then they are putting a pressure on us that you should change your system so that emission will be minimized, otherwise you will have to pay price for that, you know carbon footprints and then credits, you know carbon credits all those nonsense things they are doing. Why they are doing? Because they want to, they have spoiled the world, now they are saying you do not do that, you know <laughs> are you getting? So, now is a challenge, for that we need to study the combustion because knowledge of combustion is very relevant today, what it was let us say 100 or 200 years back. So, as there is a stringent rules 
global rules you know like international arena coming up and which we will have to follow otherwise they will twist our arm how they will twist our arm why they will twist our arm because we are depending on them we are not independent although india got independence in 1947 are you independent are you independent are we independent no we are day by day getting dependent on them so therefore now it is a vicious circle how will come out of it god only knows <laughs> right of course i am having a plan for that but that i will not discuss in this course okay so that but even if you want to follow the whatever it is going on the way of development we cannot do it because the stringent emission rules are coming and which we will have to you know redesign our combustion systems and other related systems such that we will you know go ahead in spite of their stringent rules and regulation and also there is a scarcity of fuel fuel is precious okay am i right so therefore we will have to minimize the utilization of fuel rather in other words you will have to enhance the efficiency of the systems means combustion efficiency thermal efficiency other thing right and even emission minimize the emissions so that is the need therefore we need to look at the fundamentals of combustion so that we can know how to tinker how to you know uh, understand the process so that we can develop better engineering combustion systems so that is the main motivation why we should really look at and look at the fundamentals question is uh, what is combustion can anybody tell me what you are all you know aware of this, these things right so okay that means burning of fuel now question might be arising what is fuel right but in a common man language you can say that you can say setting fire to the fuel right and when you say that setting fire to the fuel and that must be in a controlled manner right if it is on control what will happen right it will lead to destruction right if you look at the fire i have shown here can anybody guess this fire is having particular shape can anybody guess this fire we do once in a year what is this fire and around this thing people will be moving around in the night what is this fire related to holika fire right and it is related to our culture okay i will not get into detail why you will celebrate that we are having enough things to celebrate than that of celebrating your birthday valentine day and blah 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 which is coming from the outside and they do not fit into our cultural milieu we should reject those things because those are not our culture so therefore you know this fire is important it should be controlled right and so when you say this thing then what is really happening that means there is a in the combustion is taking place means what there will be heat if you go and this is generally occur in the winter you will go and take the heat enjoy the heat right okay that means heat will be produced by the combustion yes or no and you could see also can you not see it colorful right and then you see means that means during the combustion heat will be generated so also light how does it taking place it is basically a chemical reaction in which fuel is burnt in presence of oxidizer producing heat and light right heat is there and light is there when you talk about heat that means what kind of chemical reaction will be taking place is it there any reaction which will be endothermic or not there is a two kinds of reaction so far the heat is concerned one is exothermic other is endothermic in exothermic the heat will be liberated in endothermic you will have to provide it or it will be consumed you know so is there any exothermic reaction will be taking place or not huh there might be but overall effect will be exothermic right is that clear so 
that means combustion is a process also self sustained chemical process. In other words combustion is a self sustained chemical process in which heat is liberated due to overall exothermic chemical reaction right. Overall you know you can sum it up as a single reaction then you say it will be exothermic in nature. And it is not that simple that you know like um, only single reaction will be going on, it is a complex sequence of chemical reaction between fuel and oxidizer accompanied by liberation of heat and light. There will be heat and there will be also light. There might be some combustion in which the heat is being liberated you know all the time, right. Is there any combustion where heat would not be liberated? Certainly no, right. But however, there is some type of combustion in which you will not see the light, right. Any idea about that, what kind of combustion it would be? And what gives it light? That also a question might be coming to your mind. Why I could see, right? But you might have, uh, you know, um, done some experiment in your chemistry class, right? Where the reaction will be taking place, but you won't be knowing, right? You can't see even. Am I right? Even if you are doing a reaction test tube, you, you won't see. Am I right? But there, there is no light as such. There is some chemical. You may feel it is hot, right? is not it? If it is hard means it will be exothermic overall. So, will you call it a combustion? That is the question that may any chemical reaction need not to be a combustion process, right. So, what are the examples of uh, you know combustion um, you have encountered during your you know lifetime? Any idea? Cooking food, what kind of you know cooking food means what like LPG. LPG burners. You have seen LPG burner? How many of you people have seen LPG burner? All of you have seen. Okay, very good. So, uh, what about any other things? Candle. candle flame, you know, you people are fond of candlelight dinner, right? <laughs> yes or no? Right, no. How come? You know, it is a modern day candlelight dinner in restaurant, go, you know, like they will, you will not eat food if there is a, you know, let us say um, snap of lighting systems, right, or the electricity has gone off, you will not take food late, we'll, you will wait till the light comes, but you will go to restaurant, pay money and then <laughs> celebrate candlelight dinner, <laughs> in your home you will not, <laughs> right. And um, what else other examples? Internal combustion engines. Internal combustion engines, right. What are those examples? Internal combustion engine means what? Diesel engines, petrol. Diesel engines, petrol engine. What else? What else? Gas turbine. Huh? Gas turbine. Gas? Turbine. Gas turbine engine. Is it an internal engine? Combustion engine? External. Is it internal or external? How many of you are saying external? 1, 2, 3, 4. Ajay, how many of you are uh, internal combustion engine, gas turbine engine? Aerospace people you have studied, okay. I, I think some of you I have taught you, right. No, combustion uh, I did not teach, okay, fine, all right. But actually it is internal combustion, let me tell you, <laughs> it is not external combustion engine, okay, fine. Now, what else, other things? What else? Power rocket engine, you aerospace people are there, you should tell me, you know. <laughs> I think some of you I taught in the last, uh, what do you call, semester. What else? What else? Furnace, you know, like uh, lot of other stuff, you have looked at fireworks, you know, right. Those are also combustion. So, there is a lot of application you could see, we will be discussing more about it. But let us look at what are the essential condition for combustion to occur. As you have already told, fuel is essential, yes or no? 
without fuel there won't be any combustion so when fuel is there therefore the oxidizer will be there it's like you know uh, if you look at life right is having a one component is male other is component female it's like a head and tail of a coin but we do quarrel isn't it like that fuel and oxidizer can they quarrel they will be part of the combustion they cannot be combustion cannot take place without any one of them that means both are essential if the fuel and oxidizers are there then the combustion can take place is it possible for example in this room i will feel the lpg gas and air is already there so therefore combustion will occur that means i need to have ignition right ignition ignite that and that is known as basically what you call combustion triangle that is fuel oxidizer and ignition energy because to initiate the flame you are having but can you relate this to the life because always if you look at our scriptures of course most most of you might have not aware about what indian scriptures were you might be aware na like indians were having lot of scriptures which are destroyed due to invasion am i right you are aware yes right but still whatever the sting uh, left over it is plethora you know it is too much <laughs> to read it but mo most of you are not aware anyway i will not get into that but i would encourage you people to look at it they are more scientific than the what science we are talking about so life if you look at it is the body right and mind and the spirit are you getting without spirit spirit means you know what do we call atman atma right that if body is there will it work it won't work if it is mind is there will it work seriously so is it related right and once you have taken birth you are getting consumed your life is getting receded right so similarly life is that if fuel is there it will be getting burnt oxidized there and it is ignition is there then it will be getting consumed so therefore i have related to that you can see this is life triangle now even if fuel is there oxidizer is there ignition energy is there is it combustion will take place suppose for in this room there is enough oxidizer is there air is basically and oxidizer okay what is the constituent of air any idea uh uh 21% what oxygen what else 78% nitrogen uh and 1% other gases like carbon carbon dioxide uh and other what else others what are very good argon right okay but generally we assume it to be 79% nitrogen 21% oxygen okay but rest of the things are very less so that means air is basically one of the oxidizers let's say in this big room uh, i'll put maybe 1 gram of lpg okay and air let's say it is having 10 grams okay will it and i'll give igni enough ignition energy whether combustion will take place or not it depends huh? depends on what it is mixed properly i am having fan here i'll make it to mix okay yes, it mixed that means i will give enough ignition energy so that it will reach te temperature okay will it ignite will it even if ignite will it combustion will be self sustainable there is a lot of questions are coming am i right so what is that it depends that you told na like can you tell me like what is that that means the fuel air ratio will be proper what you call there is a limit between which it will work it is mixed properly it should be mixed otherwise it won't work okay now what you call that 
and that is basically known as flammability limit. Uh, so, we will be uh, looking at little later on, but uh, essential condition are presence of well and presence of oxidizer, not essentially oxygen okay. and they must be in the right proportion ratio must be proper and this proportion the fuel air ratio or air fuel ratio whatever you call it should be within certain limit right certain range in which the combustion can take place and that is known as flammability limit and there is also ignition limit right because if you give very little ignition energy then it would not right. So, therefore, there is also known as minimum ignition energy all those things we will be discussing little later on much later uh, you know uh, the course. So, therefore, these are the essential condition for the combustion to be you know uh, self sufficient to propagate and then move. I will stop over here. Thank you very much.